don't go outside. I don't need the daylight, just my fingers to write. I store recently and bright, and when I'm old and gray, I know all regrets these days, but I don't mind. And our friend the stranger, who's saving sort of ranger, always trying to save the world from a new danger, but he doesn't seem to care that a world without him there would be fine. people performed 24 25 so so ha at the halfway yeah. uh, um, mark yeah we decided to uh, take a break because Jessica Wilkin wanted to use the piano and and uh, Patrick and Jessica wanted to play something so I was up at the balcony and I was looking at people coming out and I was counting people coming out I, I, I counted 75 <laughs> and that was half the people that and there there was still a big chunk of people I don't know how we didn't die. Yeah. yeah. Or how the support beams didn't come down. Oh, like, tell me. Yeah. yeah. No, it was, uh, it was one of the best things that I've ever yeah. uh, been a part of. Initially, we wanted like 10 or something like that, like 10 bands. We were like, okay, within an hour. And then <laughs> Chris Chris was like sending me emails once in a while. Oh, I added this band. I was like, okay, yeah. cool. And then I'd be like, oh, I added this band. And then like by the, a few we, maybe a week before we realized that we had like both added like so many bands. I've just been thinking about how like venues have different rules. Like you know like at Hoko's you're not allowed to dance and like <laughs> some places like if you bring a beer outside then the cops come and shut down the venue and so there's like all these rules right so the idea of having no electricity it's like this is like the strictest rule I've ever seen yet in a way it's like even harder than no dancing and so I think the idea of having rules, it's where ideas come from. You need rules, because without rules, you could do anything. And so you need rules to like channel that anything into something. You know what I mean? When I was in Nanaimo, I, I, you know, starting out playing there, and it was just like, my favorite shows were always like the, like the ones that were set up in non-traditional places, like the Legion. The Legion was amazing. We yeah. I have shows there all the time. Uh, that's I saw true. Nico Case for two bucks at the Legion. It was great. She's awesome. right there. Like, you know, it's like... Right there, you can like touch someone. It's not like they're up on this pedestal on a stage, you know, like behind a speaker, and you're kind of like this. If, if I could play in art spaces instead of bars, mm -hmm. I would do it every time. Yeah. I, like I, I find that I, all I need is a keyboard, and I hardly need a mic. There's bands that need all that stuff, and you you have to kind of go into places that have a good sound system. And but another thing we're forgetting. It's also it's age exclusive, and there's a real movement. I think, you know, like guys like Phil Elverum and Kimmy Dawson and Tara Blah, like they'll only play. I think most of them will only play all ages shows. Car Calvin Johnson and Calvin Johnson, because like it's such a prime time of your life, you know, eighteen or whatever, and you want to see bands, and why should they be excluded? You know, like we're creating a space here where it's like anybody can come, kids can come and watch a show. Yeah, you know? and that's really important. I'm a big fan of of kids playing music. I wish I, I started earlier yeah, at playing. I was 25 when I played my first uh, song for people. Yeah. Like, that was... And, like, I bet Harlan was too. Thank you so much to the people who put this on. And um, I was going through sort of like a... Not a midlife, but like a quarter-life crisis, I guess. <laughs> because I turned on the uh, TV the other day, and I used to be, like, a big hockey player. And there was the guy... I, it was me and him on the first line the whole time. And I turned on the TV and it was the Canada World Juniors and he was scoring a goal. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing with my life trying to be an artist? But this is what I'm doing and I'm so happy. This is, I think, where I belong. It feels weird to be old, doesn't it? In a way. Yeah. Because like, you know, like... I'm getting gray in my beard. Are you really? I just noticed that oh today. God. Amanda Plutt's gray hair is amazing. But it's weird because like, no, but in a way it's really great that I feel like like our like the group of friends that we are all like around 30, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like... Well. It's kind of cyclical. Like now we're kind of more in charge of like like venues and like shows setting up shows, but then there's like these group of kids that are like ten years younger than us that are coming up. It's like passing it down, like not that I'm like like we're like these wise men like 
and we're and not. It. But, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's sort of, sort of like, it's nice that you feel like, oh, well, like, when I'm, you know, gray and all my hair falls out, and I'm like, oh, I think I'm going to sing all the stupid songs when I'm, like, 48 or whatever. It's like there's going to be kids that are coming up and doing, you know, really fresh, exciting things. And that's nice. Let's have a game. Let's think of alternative venues. We'll just back and forth right now, like, where would be an amazing place to play. You go first. Suspension Bridge. Good one. That's really, really good. Uh, gondola at uh, uh, Mount Seymour. Oh, oh, oh my uh, <laughs> That, wow. <laughs> I really impressed myself. That's a really good one. Yes. Stanley Park. A very nice. Farm. Jeez. Oh, in a van. That's a, in a bus. In a bus. Like, I mean, I've, I've bus heard. Bus show. But bus show would be Sky really good. Show. Sky train show. I think that's been done. <laughs> my favorite place that I've always wanted to play have you ever been to the library, the big library? If you go up on where like the, the coffee shops and, and the pizza places, <clears throat> and you kind of go down and look down, there's this huge corner and, and it, it, it opens up like this. And it would be so awesome to play in there. Oh, like and, the, where the paintings are? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I would love to we play. Could, oh, maybe we could. I know the booker. There's, you, a booker for a corner? Not the corner, but the halls and things. That's great, but well, why don't we do it? That'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> Library. I think that it's quite a great message to set up a show anywhere because it's a complete reaction to uh, shows that are taking place in bars. I wish that it would be easier. I'm so amazed how difficult it is to put on shows like sure. that. Yeah. What's the big deal? And also the people that attend them are the, the cuddliest, <laughs> the friendliest, non-threatening people like ever. It's yeah. like, like going like, you know, uh, to a, like a church meeting. Like, people just want to see um, music. Even, like, the emergency room. Like, you know, people want to drink and have a good time. But everybody's there just for for not to get into fights. Yeah. It's just to see music. And yeah. can't have that. No. So, uh, anyway. But Sheds. 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 They're getting there. <laughs> Where do we play? The box. <laughs> it's right in there. Yeah. It's like, uh, do, is there amps there? Yeah. We should have, like, a, summer, drum set? Yeah. a summer fest. I, like, I agree. On the I, I agree with you. Can you imagine? That'd be amazing. Like, what the heck? Like, we could call it something else. What, what would we call it? Uh, what the shed? What the shed? Holy shed. Holy shed? <laughs> Exclamation. Oh, <laughs> such good Whoa. work today, people. <laughs> Bravo. Well holy done. Shed. The holy shed. Oh, the holy shed festival. Uh, holy shed fest. Holy shed fest. The people that don't leave Vancouver um, are tenacious. And I think that if one place shuts down, you're just telling me of, of in April there's going to be a new one opening yeah. up, right? Like Can't be forts. stopped. And if emergency room lasted, I thought, more than two years. That's amazing. Yeah. I think that's pretty amazing. And so what? That place got shut down, another one another will, one will pop, pop. pop up, and people are going to be just as, as happy about that. Sometimes... Okay. Sometimes it's hard staying positive for speaking for myself. So anyway, so I want to try to write something, you know, and so I was like, what, what's something fun you can sing and say? And so I was like, how about we sing yay? Like yay, Y-A-Y, -Y, -Y, or yeah, Y-E-A, like, the affirmative? Or both, yeah, right? So we, 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 all, yeah, we can do either, so. Um, so, yeah, so. Let's.